Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearthstone with me, Hollow. We are finally, I say finally, for you it's been like one day, we are once again going through the next wing quarter section, whatever you want to call, of Naxxramas. It is the construction, construction, that's right, construction, not construct, construction. There's going to be lots of people in like safety hats and stuff. It's the construct quarter. Now, Four bosses in this one. You think it's a rule of three? I, for some reason, thought it was as well, even though I know what bosses are in there. But, so far, all of the quarters we've gone through are actually just three bosses in them. Whereas, this one, Construct one, is the first one with four. Frostworm actually only has two, by the way. Just saying. Alright, so. Construct quarter. First boss. Giant, huge, scary-ass abomination by the name of Patchwork. Second boss, a giant, huge, slime-oozing man named Globulus, who just drops slime all over the room and you have to kite him around. Really fun. Um, next one, I don't remember the name, but it's a giant... Yep, that's right, giant. A giant undead dog that uh, has thousands of zombies in the room with him, called Zombie Chow, that he actually eats. Isn't that nice? He, they, every time he would eat one, he'd restore a lot of health, so you'd have to kite them around the room and make sure he didn't eat any, and you'd have to kill them before they got to him kind of thing. It was very difficult, but very fun. Um, and that's where the zombie chow card would probably come from, I expect. And finally, the last boss, Thaddeus, you'd fight two, I can't remember their names, but you'd fight two sort of big monsters, and behind them was this gigantic monstrous undead, I, I, it's like Frankenstein that's a giant, basically, and uh, kind of scary. When you kill them, it wakes Thaddeus up. You jump past them, you kill Thaddeus. That was how it went. I'm excited. How is this wing gonna open up? Oh, oh the lightning, yes. Um, makes sense because Thaddeus is actually powered by lightning and, you know, that kind of thing, like... It's alive. Alright, so we get, um, The Undertakers. Awesome, really good cards, especially with the Death Rattle decks that are going to be coming, probably, I expect. Mad Scientist is an amazing card for usually mages. Um, makes secrets really viable again, which is nice. Um, Zombie Chow was just talking about that. Yep, third boss along, the, the Undead Dog. Uh, just a really strong card, like... And you might look at it and go, well, it restores five health to the enemy hero. That's shit. Actually, it's literally the best um, one drop in the game right now, uh, once we've unlocked it anyway. Um, you play it on turn one and you trade a bunch and kill a bunch of things and then it dies before you even hit their hero. So it kills, like, everything they play for ages, then dies, restores them maybe one or two health, and uh, then you have the board control and then game. So... Pretty fucking good. And then finally we have uh, the Wailing Soul. Silence your other minions. This card's iffy. I don't know how viable it'll be. But I like it in decks where, you know, you need silences. Like, you know, Ancient Watcher activators and that kind of thing. When you want to silence your minions, it's quite good. Um, and maybe get rid of debuffs and stuff. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe with this card. And then, ah, Stalag and Fugen, Falgen, I can't say, either of them. Well, Stalag, I can at least say. Fugen? Fag? No. Okay, look, they're both... Uh, the 4-7's okay, uh, the 5 uh, the, the five seven four is pretty bad, but if you're running both, it's good, because you get a 11-11 when they both die. Kind of insane. So yeah, you kill these two before you fight Thaddeus, pretty cool. Alright, so Patchwork. <laughs> is sewn together from adventurers who couldn't defeat Lawwalker Cho. <laughs> hey, Cho's a nice guy, man. Cho's a nice guy. The massive abomination is Kel'Thuzad's unstoppable, unstoppable avatar of war. He has a four mana, hateful strike, destroy a minion. And it's not just destroy a random minion, he chooses. Hmm, I guess I just want to rush him down, right? Let me uh, quickly see what kind of deck we could go against that with. For now, I'm just gonna run Hunter. Alright, Patchy Boy. Okay, um, don't want this. Don't want this. I don't really want this early, but it'll do, and Halmas is okay, I guess. I first noticed that he has a weapon right away that has eight charges that does five damage. The hook. Death Rattle put this weapon in your hand, so he permanently hits you for five. Permanently. He permanently hits you for five. He has no card. He has no cards. Wow. That's so cool. 
Oh my god. Alright, that's really cool. Um, so I'm going to take 10 right off the bat. He has no minions. I can't believe that. Alright, animal companion. And on turn 4, he can just destroy my minions. Oh god. Zoo's going to be really good, actually, isn't it, against this? I might have to make a zoo deck. Alright, see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to coin out this. I wonder if he's going to hit hit me or that or not. I can't believe it. he permanently has a fucking 5 damage weapon. I have no taunts or anything. And when he dies, it just uh, comes back. So, fuck, man. Um, well, that's my only taunt, really. So, I guess I'll just play this. Play this. And sort of do some damage now. And then I'll uh, taunt up this turn. You're going to destroy the wolf. That's fine. And... <laughs> what does he say when I taunt him? He's so dumb, but lovable. Um, I'm actually going to taunt this. Because he's going to kill... He's going to kill one of them with his hero power anyway. So, what's it matter? I may as well keep the one that lives. So now it comes down to the wire. Can I do the damage? I need two damage from somewhere. And there it is. One shot. Simple enough. Uh, taunt decks are going to be very important in this, um... <laughs> Poor Patchwork. He's just a lovable, monstrous thing. <laughs> so there are people who can't beat the tutorial, right? Alright, so that's Patchwork. Let's move now on. Obulus is my prototype for an army of giants. You are test subject one. He's so disgusting because his mouth is spewing the acid shit that he actually fuels out at you. Big monstrous thing. Poison Cloud, deal one damage to all minions. If any die, summon a slime. And a slime, basically, he drops slime everywhere. Like, he dropped a poison cloud on top of himself. And then you'd have to kite him out of it and constantly DPS him around the room. It was really fun because it was like a race. Because the, the room would slowly fill with this gas. And more slimes would appear, and more people would die, and the less space you would have to fight him. So you'd have to, it was a race to beat him before the room was filled with these clouds. It was really cool. Um, so apparently, he's going to get slimes if anything dies. So, I'm going to want strong minions. And I think I'm actually going to go with um, the control warrior for that. Because, you know, strong minions are galore in this deck. See how it goes. Um, I tanked this boss as a death knight, main tank. Yeah. But, uh, we'll, we'll try tanking it as a warrior now, yeah? Delicious meat. Well, these kind of suck. Really looking forward to updating my control warrior deck. Especially with the new, uh, weapon. There is one downside to it, though. Um, it's quite a big downside as well. The problem I have with, um, the new control warrior is, uh... Uh, I don't really want to play a minion. I don't really want to play a minion. That's not big because of that. He's just going to use it. Um, I don't really want to play a minion that uh, is going to die to the slime and then just spawn a bunch of shit. Uh, this is okay. Because every time it takes one damage, it draws me a card and it's just one damage. See? Beautiful. Armorsmith's going to be really good at this as well. Yeah, let's just draw a fuck ton of cards. Pain, speak to me. Bring the pain. You can use your cloud again. Spawn your 4-4 that's asleep. Give me two cards. What? Oh, he has an abomination. Okay, that changes things. Um, I don't have a really good way to deal with that. I suppose I could execute it with a slam. Uh, that would leave me with two mana to do nothing really and I don't want to touch that and it's going to come back it's going to come back when this dies um so this dies no matter what damn I'm missing damage I mean I could just play yeah fuck it let's just play the other let's pass this way I can deal with the abomination alright cool cool alright so I gained two cards there and I have execute Oh man, imagine Armorsmith there, man. Still gonna be really good, still gonna be really good. 
Alright, slam <clears throat> for the execute on that. Um, I have two slams. I want to take them out. I don't like having two. Um, I know how I could deal with it. This is four mana. Five mana. Six mana. Okay. Drawing a lot of cards here. Do I want to... I could just kill that. I think for now I'm gonna like just execute this. Then um God if only I had I can kill that, but it kills this, but and then that dies to just a cloud and which spawns a slime and I don't want that. Everything right now survives apart from this. And uh it's really awkward for me. So I'm just gonna play this. May as well draw a card. Probably should have done that first. Alright. So there's only five damage on the board. It's not that big of a deal. Ooh, Echoing Ooze. I wonder when that's actually going to be added to the, like, fuel. Give a minion plus four four taunt. Jesus. Tell me it doesn't spawn a copy. Oh my god, it does. It summons an exact copy of this minion. It's going to be a huge 5-6. Good thing that I saved the execute, right? I didn't. I didn't save the execute. Good thing I got Brawl though, eh? Seriously though. Seriously. Let's um, give ourselves a slightly better chance. Get some armor. Here we go. Please no 5-6. Please no 5-6. Please no 5-6. Alright. Alright. That is insane. That is insane. Alright, let's just play this. Gain, gain an armor. It's fine with me. Can't kill them now with the uh, slime. I'm gonna buff that up again. Cold blood. Jeez. And another one. So many. Oh my god. It makes sense because they're all just slime. <laughs> Goodness. So much slime in the room, man. It's like the boss fight or something. You get it. You get it, because it's like a boss fight, because it is. Alright, um... I don't- I really don't want him to press that button. Shame I have no way to kill- Oh, no, I do, actually. Well, I can do it, but God, is it bad, because it just wrecks- It clears the board, but that's okay, because I have loads of big things. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clear the board, so... One... That's four mana there. And that's that. Alright, okay. This is kind of crazy, to be honest with you. But I like it. It's, it's cool. Alright, um... Well, since these are dead anyway... You ready for this? AOE! Oh yes! Plenty of armor. Gained. Nice. Do I want to play this? Not really, let's just uh, shield block. Nice fiery war axe. The bad thing about um, the new control warrior is that you're gonna lose Gore Howl because you just can't run that many weapons. You don't like need it. Oh, he traded his two one for a two two. Oh wow, he's actually out of cards. I got plenty of health. That's fine with me, Grobulus, my boy. What do you say when I threaten you? Come on, man, talk to me, please, please talk to me. All right, um, so we just play this, play this. An armor. Yeah. Alright, looks pretty good. Looks in my favor. Sim seems like I made the right choice with this deck. Plenty of AoE to deal with what he does. And, uh, yeah. He's kind of, uh, out of cards now. And he, he didn't really spawn, like, many... He, I think he spawned one slime in this whole thing. Thanks to the way I played around it. So, it worked very well for me. Oh, Gohal, why? Why you gotta leave me, Gohal? May as well attack since I got Gohal. Game looks about over though, doesn't it? Poor Grobby. Grobby Grobby. What was the last thing you drew, my friend? Come on, show me what you got. No? Alright. See you later, mate. I'm a Gohal finish.
None of those things were words. Alright, Mad Scientist unlocked. Awesome for secret decks. Probably see a lot of that. Okay, next up is the undead monstrous dog. I'm excited about the artwork for this. Blue feeds our leftover zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. <laughs> uh, Gluff, that's the one. Because he's gluttonous, right? And he eats tons of zombies. The foul plague dog of Naxxramas has an appetite so voracious that even the living can't satisfy him. He's disgusting. Decimate. Change the health of all minions to one. So he wants... Is he gonna give me... Is he gonna give me a fuck ton of zombie chow, do you think? And then decimate them, and then AoE? I think that's what he's gonna do. I'm gonna try the control warrior again, just because it feels strong against, you know, that kind of thing. I got plenty of AoE. But I feel like he's gonna give me loads of zombie chow and then kill them with decimate. Garrosh versus Gluth. 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 <laughs> Alright, this is a pretty good combo. Um Slamkin. Slamkin can F off. Lotheb up in the house with his mushrooms. Hey Slam, welcome back. I didn't want you to leave, really. I was just I kidding. Asked the zombies if they wanted to eat your brains, and they said, "I don't eat junk food." Wow! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, Kelfazad! You dick! That is just uncalled for, man. That's just uncalled for. All right, it says filling the board with weak minions that spawn more minions, which all will help have one health. Makes sense. <laughs> So I'm going to play this, which deals really well with one damage things. He's going to decimate everything and trade and get a bunch of 1-1s. One Fair enough. So maybe what I actually want is a deck with a bunch of small things. Potentially my hunter deck, compared to this, in hindsight. But we'll see how it goes. I do have a brawl, so I think I'm okay with killing that. Probably just going to decimate anyway. Which is half of his mana. Join me. Ooh, the Necro Knight. So he's, he's running a deck that is based off killing his own stuff, based on Decimate and, you know, the Necro Knight. Oh, he actually let the 2-2 the two -two live. How foolish! Is this a brawl turn? It feels like it could be, but... Yeah, fuck it, let's just brawl. Got a bit too many minions for my taste, you see. Alright, so we cleared the board. Or not, because it wasn't next to this one. Damn. I got an execute just for you. See what we draw. Grom, okay. Now we got a weapon in play to deal with what he plays. I can deal with that pretty well. Well, when we saw five health to the enemy hero, so there's your zombie chow. I'm not sure why he's done that. For losing to Gluth, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, why would he just heal me like that? I don't understand that. All right, um, hit that whirlwind. Then Lotheb, and he trades really nicely. Don't really want that. Maybe I just copy that. I see. Just gonna prevent him from playing any spells Join and just see what he does. That's bad because it just that gives me loads of health. That gives me loads of health. Loads of health. Why would you do that? Oh, I don't understand. Wow, he didn't even trade as well. Right, this is gonna be a big whirlwind here. Uh, the problem with that is, um, if I trade that, like that, it's kind of bad for me. So, what I'm going to do is hit with face and whirlwind, and execute that. Alright. Here we go. Look at the, the health I just restored, man. 
Wow. Thank you very much. I, uh, I will take it. All right, so he's now actually running out of cards. His, his hand is no longer that full. Destination is my favorite thing. Now wait. Freezing the blood in your veins is my favorite. Okay, man. Okay, calm down. Um, I'd like to play this, but I have no way to activate it, so I'm just gonna draw a card. Armor Smith's pretty good. Uh, All right, looks about. Looks about good for here. I think we're done with this boss now. The decimate animation is so nice. It's like shockwaves. The actual sand of the board like flicks up. Gohal! Wow, two Gohal uh, finishes in one in one video. Pretty good. It was such a mistake for him to heal me so much there as well when I did all that AoE. Kind of sweet for me. Alright, cool. Final boss. Thaddeus. It's alive! But you won't be for long. Exactly, like a giant Frankenstein. He's very scary. He has a zero mana polarity shift, swap the attack and health of all minions. Wow. Thaddeus is the result of the most horrible and evil experiments in the Construct Quad. Yeah, he's actually thousands of souls crushed in together, and you can hear him throughout. Like, w when you're walking through the Construct Quarter or the wing of uh, Nex, you can actually hear the screams of the souls that he uh, contains and holds. Alright, um... You know what I just noticed? There's a little spider above the chest for the ar arachnid. There's, um, dirty mushrooms for the Plague Quarter. There's uh, saws and shields for the military quarter, and a little um, sort of potion vial for like the scientists' construct quarter. I really like that. And then the final boss quarter as well. I really, I didn't notice that. That's cool. All right, um, I'm not really sure what I should run against that. And I think I'm just gonna go with this again because swapping the damage of most things is fine for me in this this deck, especially with things like you know Khan. It's like oh good, a five four instead of a four five. But yeah, that was his mechanic when you actually got to Thaddeus and fought him when she killed his minions. It, uh, yeah. It swapped everything around. I may as well keep the Gnomish. Alright, not bad. I'm not sure what kind of minions he's going to be running, but I assume he's going to be playing those two bastards that he had to fight in the real fight. Stalag and Fugan. Oh, well, I mean, you didn't really do anything there, mate. So it looks like he's going to be doing that every turn. So that's something to take into account. That's going to be a problem when I play this, to be honest. It's going to become a 2-1. But it won't matter because this is uh, this is going to be a 4-1. Uh, Maybe it was a mistake to play that and not just armor up. Give you minions plus 2 health. Wow! Wow! And he's gonna fucking do that. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I'll just play this. It doesn't matter either way, because they're dead. So it looks like cheap, low-cost minions are gonna be really good against Thaddeus. And, uh... I have done the opposite of that. Foolish. Foolish of me. There you go. Um, this is okay. Thing is, he's actually going to swap these around, so that's back to being a 1-3. <laughs> it's kind of cool, because it's just like, it's not actually good or bad for him in a lot of cases. It's just like, stopping him from having something good. Alright, zombie chow, sweet. I'll, I'll nab that. Maybe I should brawl here. I think I should brawl. Clears the board, and he's not got many cards in his hand. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to get a good brawl if I don't. I wonder what's going to live. That's okay. A 1-4 is fine with me. Doesn't do much. There we go. It's such a nice animation and sound, man. Alright, I got a slam for you, but nothing else. So let's see what I can draw. 
So swap that around so he has less damage. That way when he swaps, it's just a free free still. And it actually changes his health to maximum of free. That's pretty good. Oh wow, he's actually a shaman. Okay. Wow, it looks like another good brawl turn, but oh well. We can do it. Just need a bit of... Uh... May as well clear that out. We get a 5 free back. It's going to be kind of scary, actually. Oh my god, yeah, with the things with zero, zero attack. Wow, that's going to be really difficult to deal with. I need, yeah, I think I'm, the Hunter deck was definitely a good choice here. And uh, this deck wasn't. If I can survive, if I can deal with what he's got on the board, I'm back in it. But I have to actually survive and deal with what he's got on the board. All right, so I can do that. Cool, that's something. So, deal with this. Alright, cool, cool. Still good, we're still good. He's running out of fuel now. Run out of steam. But the thing is, in a um in a real one. Ah oh, fuck. I think I'm just gonna fucking just Ragnaros this. Cause it's got A8, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just gonna rag it. Come on, rag, hit the 4-5. Damn. Oh well, it's still good, it's still good. It changes nothing, it's an 8-8. Damn it, fuck your damn weapon crushing bullshit. Alright, cool, it survived. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn another one, if you don't mind. And uh, get them behind taunts. And now they're gonna have plenty of health because of the swap. So I'm actually okay with that. They're gonna be back to how they were before. So I managed to pull through, but I feel like minions with cheap cheap uh, health and stuff like that, you know, are much better. Ones with health that's like similar to each other. That's really good in that. Uh, that's really good. That's really good for uh, Thaddeus. Wow, free Gorhal finishes. Don't mind if I do. He's grateful that we killed the monstrosity that he is. Uh, isn't that depressing, man? Wailing Soul! It really is, though, because the thing is, we've defeated all of the wings now, apart from the final boss wing. So, a giant undragon we will face, and Kel'Thuzad himself. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Oh, Fugan! If Stalag has died this game, summon Thaddeus. Alright, well, that's a good card. 4-7 for 5 is, is good. Nice, big, fat health and nice damage. Stalag. Deferel, if Fugan has also died this game, summon Thaddeus. 7-4. Ah, yes. And we've unlocked the warrior and the priest. So the priest is the Dark Cultist, um, a free 4, and when it dies, it gives a free health to a random friendly minion. And the warrior is uh, Death's Bane, I think is the right... I think that's the name of it. Something... Death... No, Death's Bite. It's a 4-2. So like the paladin uh, weapon... Um, except instead of healing you for two every time it attacks, when the weapon is finished, when it's di when the weapon dies, it does one damage to all minions, so a whirlwind, which is really good in Control Warrior, and we're gonna lose Gorhal for it, sadly. Alright, so that is, uh, that is it, really. Um, we managed to do it in one video, get the four bosses done, it was nice, so we unlocked the Undertaker. In a world where you can run to the Spirit Healer and resurrect yourself, Undertakers do pretty light business. <laughs> And the zombie chow, really good card. Gonna be seeing a lot of zoo decks. Zombie, it's what's for dinner. Next up, we have Mad Scientist. His mother wanted him to be a mage or a warlock, but no, he had to go and be a scientist like his father. Mad as well. Completely mad. Isn't that a boss from uh, one of the uh, raids? He was in Ice Crown, actually. I can't remember his name. It's the guy who says the uh, good news, everyone. The poisons. The poison clouds are... Po the poison is flowing again, even. Got there in the end. We have three left. The wailing soul. The soul just wails on you. Dang, soul. Let up already. <laughs> Fucking blizzard humor. Fugan is sad because everyone likes Stalag better. How depressing. And Stalag? Stalag wants to write... <laughs> oh, he wants to write his own flavor text. Know it. <laughs> really? Just Stalag is awesome in all caps. I mean... 
Oh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like Stalag. I gotta agree, he looks cooler. He looks scarier than Fugan, to be fair, doesn't he? He looks a bit more muscled, strangely. Man, the thing is, um, you don't actually get to look at Thaddeus, the card, because he, he's only constructed and spawned once you kill those two. Um, it kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, that, um, you know that one card that you, you'd have to combine five things to make? I can't remember the name, guys. Um, you'll have to tell me. You like, you get his arm and you get both his arms, his head, his chest and his legs, and then it immediately wins you the game if you play all of them in one go or something. It's kind of insane. And with that, it's like you play his left and his right, and then you spawn Thaddeus. It's pretty cool. I, I quite like it. I really want to see some deck space around it. Anyway, guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I shall be doing the HD version soon. And uh, see you next time. And have a great day.